Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. In case you just tuned in, we are here with the artiste, Tissa Dialvis. Good morning to you and welcome back. So now, Tissa, we were just getting into your work and your career. Now, I always wanted to ask you, was there ever... Now, for artists here in this country, we all, when you hear the word art, because it's a society that's been built of uh, the engineers and doctors and that's what our parents push it for when it comes to art, it's frowned upon like, oh no, you're not really going to make a living off of that. But how have you managed to do this? Now, you're obviously very <coughs> successful when it comes to your uh, medium of work. Oh, the, the, the artists are doing very well, Yeah, um, including myself. <laughs> of um, course. Plenty of work and, um, you know, uh, you must, uh, well, uh, <coughs> there, there's a lot of work going on. Right. And uh, I'm sure you can make a living as an artist. Right. So you, what you're saying is just keep your eyes peeled and look and you would obviously see what there is. There is. I mean, there's, a, there's a lot. Now, you know, uh, 10, 20 years ago, there weren't, uh, uh, you know, you had to have your own gallery. But today, if you, most of the younger artists yeah. uh, have their own websites. True. So, you know, the whole world is your, you know, audience, as right. it were. And uh, it's, it's been a game changer. True. You know. What are the uh, challenges you had to face in your career as an artist? <coughs> I must say I've been, you know, rather fortunate. I haven't had many challenges. Really? Uh, I, I've, uh, you know, uh, I worked for the Ceylon Ceramic Corporation, mm -hmm. you know, as I mentioned some years back. I did some teaching, uh, which was very uh, encouraging to me, and um, I'm now focused on my own, you know, uh, yep. projects. I'm working on a show, uh, a solo show of my work, right. uh, uh, to be held somewhere towards the end of the year. Okay. Uh, I've always been fascinated by air aircraft, aeroplanes. Aeroplanes, yeah, yes. I noticed. I know. Well, you know I sometimes <laughs> use the models uh, of these aeroplanes as well, mm -hmm. and I've made quite a number. And uh, it so happens that uh, you know it's uh, just a hundred years since oh. the first uh, aircraft, and we have the most sophisticated uh, you know uh, aeroplanes around flying. And probably in the next uh, few years, we might have a colony on on the moon. Um, <laughs> so. It's come a long way, and and they're too, some of them are really uh, what you might call works of art. Right. Uh, so I have a you know uh, quite a number of these right. that I'd like to present. Um, I, I would like to call it uh, you know century of aviation, celebrate right. a century of aviation. Right. And um, I right. hope to have it uh, at the upstairs uh, art gallery at the Lionel Vent. Okay. Uh, Interesting. That's my favorite uh, okay. gallery space in Colombo. Okay. <coughs> Interesting. So, like, um, now, since you mentioned colony on the moon, now this just stood out for me because uh, people would um, kind of describe you as as your work, as you would uh, it, the story would be imagined worlds. Yes, like a world. yes, that would be all right. Um, you know, science fiction. Um, you know, what was science fiction almost? You know, when we were kids, yeah. is here and now. I mean, True. It's it's you know it's amazing and mm -hmm. uh, it's going to accelerate. And uh, things are going to become, uh, you know, even more, um, uh, you know, high tech, if you like. So we got to go easy. We must. Uh, one of the things I'd like to tell the the younger artists is, uh, don't forget your hand making skills. Right. Um, yeah, because that is important. Because a lot of people. Yes. Uh, w one time I remember speaking to this guy and I said, "Look, I could paint," and he said, "You know what? It doesn't really matter because you could do the same thing on uh, on, the, on a computer." You, there you got it, and, and, and it's gone one step. Now we have uh, 3D printers, so, mm. you know, so go easy, you know, d don't forget your hand-making skills. Right. Uh, you know, use technology by mm. all means. But I must say, I, I, I would tell the younger artists, uh, modern doesn't necessarily have to be high-tech. Right. <coughs> true, true, true. Very indeed. All right, so now, uh, obviously every artist has... Um, someone that they always uh, look up to or in, get inspired by far from other things that they get inspired yes. by. They look up to different other artists. Do you have a specific artist that you... I have many. I have many artists I'm influenced by, but uh, have not having gone to art school, uh -huh. I don't have... Uh, you know, I, I was able to pick the, the artists that I like. So I have, you know, of course the ancients, uh, you know, uh, like Michelangelo and, mm -hmm. you know, Da Vinci and others, but... Uh, uh, I do have my favorites. Uh, amongst the Sri Lankans, uh, my favorites are Lucky Senanayaka. Yes, uh, of course. He's a great artist uh, as a painter and a sculptor. 
And of the 43 group, uh, I like Justin Derniagala. Okay. Um, have you seen his pictures? Fortunately not. No, you must. I, even I discovered him, you know, rather late. Okay. But uh, he's probably the greatest of uh, the 20th century Sri Lankan painters. Right. Uh, there's, there's one um, of his pictures called the Blue Nude. Blue Nude. Yes, you Sounds must check intriguing. that out. <laughs> uh, for me, it's, it's probably, you know, one of the most beautiful nudes, uh, pictures of the 20th century. Right. And uh, know that it was done, you know, painted by a Sri Lankan, you know, makes me feel good. Yeah, th I think that's a very Sri Lankan thing. Like, if we find out something that's really nice in this world, <laughs> yes. and we find out it is a Sri Lankan, yeah, we're just yeah. proud of our that's country. That's good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, so uh, what are, now you've done a lot of uh, artistic projects, and you've sent it on uh, to a lot of places in uh, Europe and London in 2002, if I'm correct. Yes, that's right. What artistic project are you most proud of um, to this date? Well, actually, uh, projects, uh, you know, working with children, mm -hmm. you know, and... Uh, seeing how, you know introducing them to uh, to play and uh, helping them uh, you know getting them uh, making them aware of their hand making skills right uh, is a, is a wonderful feeling and uh, it's also very humbling because sometimes you think you have a, such a lot of experience and you know you can make do things more better than and uh, so i have had many occasions when i uh, model a, a elephant or a dolphin right. in front of a group of uh, 10, 15 children, right. and then get them to, you know, make it. Do it. And about five or six of them make it better than I did first <laughs> time. <laughs> no and way. here I have made, you know, hundreds of them. Right. So it's a, it's a, you know, it's it's a great feeling. So I, I think you know, uh, projects like that uh, uh, stand out. And although I have been in, a, I've been fortunate to have been in a, a few. Uh, uh, Big exhibitions, right. you know, uh, you know, international exhibitions. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, I, I, I think the, the <coughs> one that I can um, remember is a, uh, is a is a show uh, the Asia Pacific Triennial, the third Asia Pacific Triennial. Uh, this was held um, in Australia, in Brisbane, okay. at the Queensland Art Gallery, okay. and uh, that was the first time I'd been out of the country. First time I'd been in a big uh, art show. And uh, three of my works were purchased by the art gallery, so big deal. So oh, I, I that is. Uh, yes. I think that's the best reward uh, when it comes to an artist when your yes. work is, uh, is purchased. Yes, yeah. And uh, I, I think uh, it's <coughs> it's still. Um, I'm still the only Sri Lankan artist in that collection, the Asian collection at the Queensland Art Gallery in Brisbane. Australia. Really? Yes. That is. See again now. I'm proud. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So am I. All right, so um, <coughs> now, now, now you mentioned uh, promotion wise. Uh, back in the day, how did that work? When you're an artist um, and you wanted to promote your work, how did that like, work out? Today you have your uh, internet, you <coughs> post yes. up on Facebook yes. and people will know what you're doing. You, you have to, uh, <coughs> you have, to uh, uh, have writers, you know, people who can promote you. Uh, uh, I, I have been lucky. I have had uh, you know, some journalists help me out. Right. Uh, <coughs> some of my friends, uh, uh, in fact, do their own write-ups. Oh, <coughs> okay. It's interesting. All right, so um, unfortunately, we are running out of time. To say. So um, for the art young artists watching the show right now, yes. what would you have to say to them if you, to pursue their career in art? Well, I, <coughs> I'd like to tell them that uh, uh, modern doesn't uh, necessarily mean high-tech. It's your ideas that matter. And... Uh, uh, how you say what you want to say. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, say it in your art, pretty yes. much. Uh, put it into it's that. your ideas, uh, what you want to say, and yeah. how you present it. True, true indeed. To say we would like to thank you so much for coming here early in the morning, I might add, uh, to Good Morning Sri Lanka. Well, it's such a pleasure to have you on the show. Well, we'd love to have you back. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. <laughs> All right, so that is Tissa D. Alvis on the show. If you want to find out more information about Tissa's work and see what other work he has planned out in his near future, you can visit on his Facebook page on www.facebook.com forward slash Tissa D. Alvis. Also, again, we start off the show with look out when it comes to traffic, you know, auto accidents. Make sure you keep an eye out. Uh, this season of cricket, people tend to do drive a bit crazy. So we here at MTV would endorse and say, be careful, drive careful, look out. That's what we have to say. Good morning, Sri Lanka. Have a great day.